presentation um, in which you predict all sorts of patterns about company behaviour. Yes. Um, one thing you mentioned um, to me yesterday is that London is a, is, uh, oh, yeah. is, doesn't fit into this picture. Uh, just tell us a little bit more about how yes. London doesn't fit Yes, in. well, it's, um, it's a little bit controversial, but um, uh, it turns out if you look at the UK urban system, uh, we haven't done this, but some people here at UCL have done it. Um, but some people disagree with what they've done, but I'm going to tell you what they've done because I sort of believe it, actually, even though they're my colleagues that are criticizing it. Um, uh, and that is that they discovered that uh, the British urban system, in terms of many of these metrics, is very close to being linear. And... Um, uh, and, and that's terrible because it says that there's no point in having an urban system because, I mean, you know, I mean, the whole point of getting bigger was that you got more per capita. So England is not benefiting from that. It's not benefiting from this, you know, more per capita, this increasing returns to scale at all. So um, that's weird. And we were, at least I was, very surprised by it. Um, but then I asked them to do the following. I said, look, that's for, you know, I forget how many cities were in this, a couple of hundred. I said, why don't you take that um, population of cities and just keep decreasing? You know, you're 200, then you're at the top 150, then the top 100, the top 50, the top 40, 30, 20. And how, see how that scaling changes. And it, as you come down, mm -hmm. um, it hovers around one, uh -huh. as it should. And then as it starts to get where London completely starts to dominate, it gets super linear. Oh, wow. Meaning that it, the interpretation being, my interpretation being, that uh, the, all of the, I hate to say this, <laughs> all of the, in, in these terms, all the innovation and all the benefits are accruing both in and because of London. So London kind of sucks London everything. London sucks everything, which is, you know, an image that people have uh, in, in the United Kingdom. Do you think that this does. might kind of fit into the Brexit situation? In well, I think it does. So, yeah, I was thinking, listening to all these talks today, I was thinking that, you know, one interpretation of the Brexit um, vote is um, that uh, there was kind of a transference, if you like, that somehow um, London became symbolic uh, or, or rather, they, 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 I said the wrong way around, that um, the European Union came symbolic of the dominance of London mm -hmm. because London you know, has this huge economic, cultural um, kind of presence that, that uh, completely overwhelms the rest of the country and um, uh, that, uh, and furthermore, it has all of the things that we see in our work that make a city great, mm -hmm. including its great diversity, you know, its great immigrant population and so on, all this buzz of activity and so on. And, uh, you know, that was obviously um, very threatening to a lot of people. And so um, I think that's, so I think the Europe, so I interpret it, this is total speculation, but my interpretation is, the European vote, the Brexit vote, was actually a vote against London, or at least as much a vote against London as it was against Europe. That's fascinating. I mean, certainly. So, and by the way, we also have to remember that people complain about uh, Europe, the, U the European Union, because Brussels is giving them all these regulations and laws, but the rest of the country. It's London that's doing. I mean, after all, London is where the parliament is, where the laws are that are restricting them, and so on. So there's a kind of interesting synergy. In some synergy. Ways. Yeah, you yeah. Get rid of one you get, and you yeah, it you're not. Another. So I, I mean, that's a speculation. But I was thinking in terms of this work, where you see that uh, there's something. Um, uh, Britain is an outlier somehow. It's somehow, uh, you know, it scales, but it scales differently. Than, uh, than, than uh, the rest of the world, uh, the, at least the rest of the world where we have data. Um, and, and, it, and, and to add to that, it, has, it's, it, it scales in a trivial way, a totally trivial way, so you don't benefit from size, which is terrible. You know, I mean, I hate to say that, it's terrible.
Uh, that's fascinating. Thank yeah. you so much, Jeffrey. Sure, it's been a wonderful. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. I really. Let's yeah. go and get a drink. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> thank yeah, you. <laughs>